In this video, we're gonna draw another Fortnite skin. Which one are we drawing? Guff. Yeah, he's really cool. And we hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. You ready to start? Yes. We're gonna start at the top of our paper and draw Guff's head. And that way we have room for his body. So let's draw, it's an upside down U shape, but it also kind of looks like a V. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw coming up and then we're gonna curve at the top and then we're gonna come back down on the other side. <laughs> if it was a letter V with a big curve in the middle instead of a point. Yeah. And then let's draw, I think he's made out of feathers. We're gonna draw a feather coming in, we'll zigzag back out and then back in. And let's repeat that same shape or curve on the other side. Okay, now let's draw his hat. We're gonna draw a little cap on the top. We're gonna come across and then <laughs> connect over here. It's a little curve. Yeah. <laughs> then let's draw the straps coming down on each side. We're gonna draw two lines right next to each other. Almost come all the way down to the bottom, actually really close to the bottom of the head. And we're gonna add a little curve. Then we're gonna repeat that same shape or same curve on the other side and then connect them at the bottom too. Okay, now let's draw his eyes in the really small ovals. <laughs> draw two. <laughs> and then the mouth is even smaller oval, but it's going this way, horizontal. Now it's already starting to look like guff. Yeah. And I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different than ours too, because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Yeah, remember to have fun and practice. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Now let's draw his funny ears. We're gonna start here and let's draw a curve. It's gonna look like an upside down J. So we're gonna curve up like this and then back down. Then let's repeat that same curve on the other side. Oh, or a candy cane. Yeah. And then let's add the extra bumps. There's two more bumps and they look like feathers coming down and connecting back to the head. Then we'll repeat those same bumps on the other side. On each side, let's draw these curves from his cheeks coming in closer to the straps, uh, the little ties that are coming down from his hat. Then we're gonna draw his body. We're gonna draw two curves. We're gonna draw one that comes down like this and the same curve, but the other way on the other side that matches. Next, we're gonna draw the feathers that connect these two lines together, but we'll make the feathers going down in the shape of a U. So right here, you can watch me, I'm gonna draw the curves for the feathers coming down to the middle, and then we're gonna draw it coming back up and connecting to the other side. Now we're gonna draw the legs. Let's draw a line in the middle. Then we're gonna draw a line on the outside and I'm curving it too. Let's curve it on both sides. And then we're gonna curve this around and into the middle and the same on the other side. Then let's draw his legs. We're gonna draw, or the rest of his legs. They kind of look like chicken legs. We're gonna draw two lines coming out of the bottom of those letter U's. Then we're gonna draw a line right next to it, but it's shorter. And we'll draw the same line on the outside over here, but shorter. And then we're gonna draw his feet and they're just pointy feet like this. <laughs> He's seriously one of my favorites. It's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Before we draw the arms, let's draw his shoulder straps. We're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down and then we're gonna draw it coming back in and curving down. Then let's do the same thing over here. We're gonna draw it coming down, diagonal, and then curving in. Then let's draw a circle on each side. And on this side, we'll draw another circle right above it. Yeah, okay, now let's draw his arms. And then we're gonna draw this U shape just like we did for the legs. And we're gonna draw it for the arms. We're gonna start here and we're gonna come down to about there and connect in. And then let's do the same on here too. Curve down and then back in. Then he has his wrists that stick out of the bottom of the feathers. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna draw the hand. And we'll try to keep this really simple. We'll just draw a thumb. 
And then we'll go on the outside and we'll draw it curving like this and then back up. Let's do the same thing over here. Thumb on the inside. And then we'll curve down and then back up. Oh, let's add feather lines on his arms. We're gonna draw these letter U's that are connected and we'll do the same on this side. We could also add another feather line, even though this is the same color. So the top part is pink and the bottom part's blue, but he has more feather texture in the blue. And then we can also add feather texture down here on his legs and one more below that. We'll add even more feather texture while we're coloring, but we're missing one last thing. His big star. Yeah, right on his chest. Let's first start by drawing the top point. We're gonna draw an upside down V. Then we're gonna draw the arms of the star coming out to the side and then back in. Oh, these got a little bit bigger than the first point. <laughs> That's okay. You could draw this with a pencil first if you want to get the lines just right, and then go over it with a marker. We're going to draw the legs for our star. Always think of this being the head, the arms, and then the legs yeah. for the bottom part. <laughs> we did it. We finished drawing Guff. He looks really cool, except we still need to color him. Yes, my favorite part. We will speed this up, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. Ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring Guff, and he turned out awesome, all colored in. It's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> now you guys can finish your drawing by adding the Fortnite background, also a chug jug, or maybe some other things on the ground. Yeah. We used our markers to color with, but you could use colored pencils or even oil pastels. If you have the same marker set that we use and want to use the same colors, we used 121 as the main pink color, and then the shading or the extra feather texture, we used 85. Yeah. And then the blues, we use 76 and 63 as the darker color for shading. Then for the legs, hands, and also the ears, oh, and the star, we use 33 yellow and 23 orange. Don't forget the backpack straps, 94. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing guff with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.